In this question, we need to know whether n times m is odd. Both numbers are integers, so each will be either odd or even. Let's turn to the data statements separately first. Statement 1 will succumb to analysis by cases. n is either even or odd. If n is even, then m is odd, and the product of the two will be an even number times an odd number, which is always even. Recall that when two numbers are multiplied, the product contains all of the factors of the two numbers. That's why any integer multiplied by an even number must be even. The factor of 2 carries over into the product. Moving on, if n is odd, then m is even by statement 1. And therefore, once again, nm is even. These two possibilities are exhaustive, so nm must be even and statement 1 is sufficient. Statement 2 tells us that m divided by n is an even number. Hence, m is that same even number times n. That means that m must be even, since the factor of 2 in that number which we are calling even here will be contained within m. And since m is even and n is an integer, the product of the two must be even. We have therefore answered the question definitively. Statement two also is sufficient. The correct answer is D.